This is the Nook HD Plus. It's essentially the 9-inch version of the 7-inch Nook HD. It costs $269, but is that price low enough to justify a tablet lacking in media content compared to the competition? Hi, I'm Eric Franklin, and today I'll take a first look at the Nook HD Plus. The Nook HD Plus has a light, fairly thin build, and unlike the 7-inch version, includes that little Nook circle we've seen on other Nook products. It also has a power slash sleep button, a volume rocker, headphone jack, microphone pinhole, charging port, micro SD card slot, and a home button. The interface supports multiple user profiles for both kids and adults that are easily and swiftly switchable. There's a carousel of your content at the top, and each piece of content can be dragged down to the bottom of the interface if you so desire. The tablet features a 1920 by 1280 resolution screen, and books, magazines, games, and movies do indeed look sharp. There is no native music service, however. The Nook store offers deep book, magazine, and even catalog support. And while its apps and movies and TV show libraries are growing, you still won't find as much content here as you would on Google's, Amazon's, or Apple's store. There are two key advantages of the Nook HD+. One, it's one of only a handful of large mainstream tablets with a micro SD card slot, which is going to come in handy if you just want to load it up with a bunch of content. And two, it's $270. With great support for books, magazines, and catalogs, $270 for a large tablet makes for a pretty great deal. However, if you're looking for tons of great video, music, and app content, you'll want to look elsewhere. Check out my full review for more details. Once again, I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Barnes & Noble Nook HD+.